What's up, Bulldogs? You ready for today's video? <laughs> Alright guys, for today's video, we're going to do something pretty cool. We're going to go and actually watch the first video part I've ever had. This video was Dave Mirror's video called Sentence to Life. I had a full part in it, and I was one of a handful of riders that was selected to have this honor. I remember getting the phone call and being asked to be in the video, and I was just completely stunned. I was completely in shock about it. Looking back at it now, that was a huge moment in my life, and it was such an awesome experience as well. I ended up going on a trip with some of the best BMX riders in the world. We went on a bus with Dave Mirror across the Northwest. We went to Oregon, we went to Washington State, and we had so much fun. On that trip, I got more than BMX out of it. I actually played poker for the first time against Dave Mira, and I lost to Dave Mira, and it was pretty epic to say the least. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna go watch the video together, and I'm actually gonna be stopping the video and talking about certain parts that stand out to me. I think this is gonna be a really fun video, and I'm really excited to watch the video part because I haven't seen it in years. So let's go on and let's go make this happen. All right, so as you can see behind me, we have the video getting ready to play on the TV. So what I wanna talk about before we get this started is the intro to my part. Dave Mira said some of the nicest things ever about me in this video and looking back at it now and hearing Dave Mira's voice explain it, it like literally gives me chills. It's it's absolutely insane. You know me being a kid and looking up to Dave Mira like I did for so long and just knowing that Dave Mira had these words to say about me it's a uh, it's pretty mind-blowing. It, it really is. We're gonna get this started right now so let's watch uh, my part in Sense to Life. One thing really cool about Scotty is he takes Everything lightly, he's always having fun, always smiling, never too serious, but when he's on his bike, he's out there just killing it. People are just amazed by him. Small kid, just ripping, so much talent. Such so a dork when I was so 17 control. or 18 years old. You know, Scotty is the future. He is what I call the new generation. He is definitely defining progression in his riding every single day. No trick is out of his league at this point. Right, that's pretty cool right there. That's awesome to hear. So this is my Evo, my prize possession when I was 17 years old. Had to get that in the intro. Like looking at it too, like I barely even feel like it looks like me. This was in California and it was like a random front flip gap I found and it was like a really steep quarter pipe. And looking back at this now, this is a pretty, pretty big jump. So let's play it. Now this run right here, Corey Burgler loves this one. This is at the Jackson Skate Park. And it's so much fun this mini ramp. I was devastated when they took it out. But really cool clip though with the baby whip. You guys know this wall ride. We did a lot of videos at this one over the years. And here's some old Incline Club clips from years and years ago. So this line you guys are about to see, this was something that I kind of came up with on the fly. We found this curve wall ride, it was right in Howell where the bike shop is, and I had this idea of doing the curve wall ride up, riding across the top part, which was only about a foot wide, and then dropping into the curve wall ride. And I've never done one of those before. So I was really, really nervous about it, and it actually worked first try, which is pretty insane. So here's the clip. So we're going to pause this one because this next clip you guys are about to see is my biggest regret I ever had filming a video. This line I did in California, it was actually a pretty legit line. As it plays out, you guys will see some awesome tricks, but there's one trick on there that I am really embarrassed about and it absolutely kills me that this made it into the video. I ended up doing this 180 to feeble grind down this ledge and I wanted to do 180 out. I did the 180 out and I immediately rolled out the opposite direction, but it was instant. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life on BMX. So I'm going to show you guys Guys the clip real quick and then we're going to talk about it. It's definitely my most embarrassing clip I've ever had in the video. So 
So we've done videos before at the Old Bridge Ditch, but years ago when we first found it, I ended up doing some tricks I was really proud about. I did do the flare on the quarter pipe, but the clip before it, the 360 over the wall, was the one I was the most proud of. So I ended up coming up with the idea of jumping over it, which I did, and then I decided the 360, and I ended up getting it first try, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Ended up making this jersey bagger back in like 2004. I was really happy that this made it in the video. Tail transfer from state Washington State as well. Now this run right here is pretty amazing. I mean, for me, I think this is one of like the coolest things I actually ever filmed, especially for the time. I went completely on the fly on that one. I ended up doing a 720 turndown over the spine, and at the time, I wasn't even good at 720s. I don't even know how I pulled that one out right there, but the fact that I did a 720 turndown over the spine in that run is still pretty amazing to me. And also, the next clip was at the Incline Club, and now this is a weird one. A lot of you guys might be really confused on how this trick worked, and be honest with you, I don't even know how I made this happen. It was a seat stand wall tap that was on the wall ride. I don't know where I learned this or how I figured out a way to do this one. It's kind of cool just thinking about the creativity that I had back then. So going up and landing with both feet on the seat, pushing against the wall and jumping back in. I don't know what I was thinking, but it actually did work out. Now these next clips, these were over at the Trenton Trails. Ice a fakie on the wall ride in a hole, and a flare wall ride, which I was really happy about at the time. Double tail up over the gap as well. Now here's a pocket air run in the Jackson Pool. So these are pretty cool. These are trails that were in Huntington Beach, California called the Hidden Valley Trails. And it's a quick little run. One of the, my favorite setups I've ever ridden trail-wise. Now these next two clips are pretty important to me because there are two things that I'm actually pretty proud of thinking about it. So the first one is gonna be me going around the full pipe. And this is the first time I ever got a chance to ride a cradle and a full pipe. And I ended up getting comfortable enough to actually do the full loop. So I started out by going around the cradle and I kept on getting more speed and I just went straight up around this thing. And that was so cool to be able to say that I did an actual full loop. And now this next clip that you guys are about to see is the longest rail that I've ever done. It was definitely something I was really proud of at the time, but the older I get, I've become more proud about it. I actually just recently had a conversation with my friend Dakota Roche, and he was telling me about this rail, and he actually told me something that I had no idea about it. There's actually a skate park that's right next to where that rail was. So we all actually rode over from the skate park to the rail, and when we got to the rail, Matt Berenger was the one that was going to try it for the first time. Matt Berenger was looking at it, and he's like, you know what, I don't wanna do it. And then I was like, I'll try it. So I just jumped jumped on the rail and gave it a couple goes. And I think within four tries or so, I actually ended up making down this whole rail. So as you can see, there's four kinks in it and there's four flats. It's a really long rail. It's not like a really mellow one. It's actually pretty steep. I was really happy to get it done, but talking to Dakota Roche, he told me that I was actually the first person to ever do that rail. And he said it was a really big deal in that area that everybody was talking about it because everybody used to try that rail, but nobody ever finished it. And the fact that I was able to do it is pretty crazy to me. I always thought that I was a pretty well-rounded rider. I felt like I could ride a little bit of everything, and I took a lot of pride in that. So to be able to get this rail clip in this video was so cool to me. And looking back at it now, it's definitely a big accomplishment. So after the rail is the last clip of the video, and to be honest with you, it's not my favorite clip of the video. I ended up doing a tail whip to manual to tail whip drop in, but for me, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I just felt like 
it was just a filler. And the fact that it made it in the last clip of the video, I don't really understand why. I think the guy that made the video thought that that was a cool clip. Like he never talked to me about what I thought should be the last one. But I'm gonna go out there and say my favorite clip of the video was probably that grind down. I think that that was more along the lines of like the banger even though it was a street clip, and I rode more park stuff than anything else in that video, but that leads us to the outro, and what you're about to see is the coolest 17 year old in the world driving his dream car. So here it is. So that's the video, and it's definitely crazy to look back on it and see the different tricks I was doing at the time, and seeing all the things I have accomplished actually over the years. It was an awesome experience having the opportunity to be in Dave Muir's video, and I am so grateful for that. And part of that is what made me the rider that I am today. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed going back in time with me and checking out my sentence of life part. Until next time, remember to subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Peace.